Hello, this is Claire Farmer for GamerGuides.com and I'm here to show you how to get the easiest gold medal for the jewellery store heist on GTA 5. You need to, the, the best way to do it is to select the smart option because it makes things inside the jewellery store a lot easier. Then for the driver you need Kareem because this we're all working it out so you, that you get basically get the most money you can get out of this. Norm, you don't need a decent gunman because the people inside will be knocked out. And the hacker, he gives you about a minute if you choose Christian. And that's all you need because, of course, you're going for the 50 second or under um, take on the jewelry. So that's your best crew to get to maximize the amount of money you're going to get for this mission um, and make things quite easy. So simple now, you just need to go to the store, implant the gas. When you're aiming it, it's a bit like a grenade, so throw it into the uh, the vent. Just flick the trigger. You know, don't hold it down because you'll throw it too far and you only get four of them. So just flick the trigger and that will do the trick. The rest is quite easy. And as soon as you get inside the jewelry store, your, your friend will help you steal the jewelry. Um, so all you need to do is just keep mashing the circle button or the melee button if you're um, on Xbox and just keep methodically working your way around the jewelry cases. You know, the closest one, keep going to that. Um, and that is the trick to doing it in under 50 seconds. There's no route, you just need to go to the nearest one and keep mashing the melee button. And because... The, the members inside will be knocked out. No one will interrupt you, so you have plenty of time to complete it. They see some gangbanger with a happy trigger finger. They got, they got money and their freedom on the line. I ain't gonna fuck this up, man. Good. I got enough shit to worry about. Hey, uh, so you made savings on the personnel, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, I figure they're on Lester's list of potentials. They can't be that bad. Sure, man. What could go wrong? Cheap hacker, cheap driver, cheap gunman. Ah, uh, pretty much everything could go wrong. We got this, man. Don't worry. Great. The novice is reassuring me. <laughs> oh, brother. All right, this is it up there. There's a way through the site up to the roof. Man, we went over this. I'm cool. When the gas is in the ventilation system, give us the word. For sure, man. I got it. Excuse me! Exterminator! Hey, there ain't no one around. That suits us. Come on, get up to the roof. Get your ass out of here. Almost there. We're in position, waiting on your signal. Just gotta get where I can throw this. Hey, I saw you had some grenades on you. Don't throw them instead of the gas bombs. I think I can tell the difference. I got an angle. That was it. They going out. Do you love her? Well, I, I love her. Let's do this! Come on! Following your lead. Target! 
So for this next bit, it's not too difficult, you just need to stick with the people ahead. Karim doesn't really know where he's going because he's obviously not as trained as the other guy, but you're, and you're on the wrong bikes actually because you go into a load of mud so you should have done dirt bikes, but you know, it's, it's fine. You can still maneuver and of course you don't forget you have Franklin's special power um, as he's driving. So, you know, if you get in any sticky situations, make sure you use that. Best time, just stick with them, watch exactly what they do, try not to get too far ahead of them because obviously um, they will go ahead. But slow down, when you jump the freeway, slow down just before that tunnel because then normal crash, you can pick up his stash, make sure you run over his bike and himself and you'll, you'll grab the money that he drops. Um, and then just... You don't drive past at this section because you'll lose him and you'll fail the mission. So just wait around. I mean, there's no time limit to this. You've got plenty of time to just take your time. At every turn and intersection, make sure you sort of take your foot off the accelerator because otherwise you'll probably smack into a wall and then, you know, you could be in trouble. If you do crash, quickly get on the bike. And if you've still got some boost of Franklin's power, use that to catch up. This bit's probably the best bit to use it for because it's really awkward to get over those ramps and stuff. The rest is fine and uh, you'll do fine. Just so just keep keep sticking. I don't know where the fuck we're going. Shit! Oh crap! What the fuck is this? Okay, for this final bit, you just need to keep the foot on the accelerator and just swerve into the cars, the police cars. Don't swerve too much, otherwise you'll um, spin the van round hey and there, you'll boys. crash. I got this and do covered. not knock the police cars into your teammates. I mean, it goes without saying, but you know, it can happen. Easily happen. Uh, they will swerve left, then they'll swerve right across the river. Um, and cars will come out from the side as well, so be aware of that, but always if you keep your accelerator down, you'll be able to catch up with them and clang into the, the cop cars as they come through. Straight away, just like that. So. And then once you get to the end, you'll pause and you can make a nice leisurely stroll back to the garage and successfully completed, hopefully, your gold medal for this heist. So. Please check us out on Twitter at GamerGuides and Facebook as well, it's GamerGuides again. Um, and also, we'll be bringing out a full GTA 5 guide on our website, GamerGuides.com. Um, we appreciate any feedback and any commentaries you guys have. Okay, this is Claire Farmworth. As always, good luck. Come on, get in. And I hope you found this guide useful. Bye bye. Lester's waiting for us at the lockup. Oh, fuck, man. I thought I was gonna be stuck to that bike. Yeah, I thought you were gonna be stuck under a cop car. There gotta be more dudes waiting around that way. We did not just get away with that shit, did we? You know what? I think we did. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we did it, baby. We did it.